Hello guys and welcome back to the building series. Now before we get started, I just wanted to say that I did create a post for suggestions for a future building series similar to this one. Um, I, w I am reading and replying to the messages on the uh, post itself, so if you have any suggestions, I'll link the post down in the description so you guys can suggest your structure building um, structure building ideas and stuff like that. So we're working on a dungeon right now, but uh, it can be anything that you that can basically fit in a 32 by 32 by 32 uh, structure size. So uh, another thing that uh, I did read in the suggestions or comments that uh, there is a option for show invisible blocks and I enabled that and as you can see um, we can see where the structure blocks are so if we turn it on again and then we'll increase the size by one uh, we can see that there is air blocks above which are the blue ones the structure voids are the red one so that was a nice little tip that the community shared with me for sure so I just wanted to point that out because it's actually really useful for detecting if there's any structure voids or anything like that in the area all right so let's uh, take a look at what we're going to be doing today there are some new blocks that I added for the project specifically so these will all be open source when the project is finished so there is a rib cage uh, some skulls some bones uh, some candles, these actually give off a little bit of light. And uh, shackles, I worked a, that was my first model that I made. And uh, some cobwebs. And there is also a couple other blocks as well. There is the floor traps and the wall traps. Now, uh, these are a little bit different. I added a little bit of mechanics. So this one basically is a wall trap. As you can see, it will spawn like a stray. Uh, it despawned because it's on um, passive right now, so entities don't spawn in there. But uh, it will spawn a stray for that one. And this one will basically, when the player walks on it, it will um, spawn some soul, uh, soul sand fire, or whatever it's called. So uh, yeah, that's basically those things that we can integrate in here. So let's take a look at what we actually have for a palette that I picked out. There's a bunch of different items that I wanted to add. So we have some of the vanilla ones as well and some other uh, custom ones on the top that I basically made. So these are the ones that I made up here and all the ones below that we'll be using to decorate the structure in the next couple videos or so. So uh, I'm not going to rush into getting it all done today because it's, well, a pretty big structure to begin with. We have a couple rooms but I figure if we get the top ones done today and then we can focus on the bottom spawning one in the next episode or maybe the bottom one and one of the ones up here. But uh, let's start with grabbing some items. I want to get some of the lighting sorted out first. So we'll grab some of the lighting blocks and then we can um, work from there. So let's go back inside. We got some soul torches and stuff like that so I want to just remove some of these so we can kind of plan where we're going to be putting some of this stuff now obviously we don't want it too bright in the spawning room so we'll have to kind of figure out what we're going to be doing for this because um, our spawner needs to be in the dark right so entities won't actually spawn if it's too bright so that's going to be an issue if we um, have too much light in here, but we could do something like that. That might work. I'm going to actually disable that um, that setting so it's easier to see what we're doing inside. And we'll go back downstairs and we'll see how dark it is. Yeah, that should be dark enough. And there's a bat in here now. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this should be good for the darkness. Now, another suggestion. This was on. Uh, Discord server that I'm on is to add some dirt uh, for the bones and the skull because they're kind of in the ground and it would make really good sense to have it in cobblestone. So I they suggested some of the um, placing some dirt down or something like that. So we could do that as well. Uh, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of bats in here now. Uh, we could do kind of like a 
part of the build where it's kind of like that and then we can place down some skulls and stuff like that as well in the corners um yeah so we could do something like that and then maybe over on the side we'll put the rib cage and stuff as well uh, this is going to get really annoying pretty fast so i'm just going to light this up for now hopefully that will be enough to uh, stop them from spawning all right so let's go over here and we will do some more bones and stuff in this area Uh, we'll do some bones over here. And then we'll go over on this side and then we'll do some more bones. So, so like that. Okay, so that should be good. And it also kind of gives it a little bit more variety than just the um, cobblestone and the mossy cobblestone as well. So, um put maybe a skull over here some bones over there we'll get grab the rib cage and put it um, over on that side I guess and then we could do kind of like a few bones over here maybe a bone and skull over here and then we could do a rib cage on the other side I didn't actually grab the rib cage so we'll grab that right now and we will place that down over here somewhere i was thinking of putting some bookshelves into this section here uh just to decorate it a little bit more that's why i have it a little bit further out so that might work a little bit better and uh rib cage i think we needed one over here somewhere so do something like that and then i think we could probably fit one down here as well so we'll put one there Okay, they're all chilling up there. That's funny. All right. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, start working on some lighting stuff. Uh, we grab those uh, bookshelves as well uh, while we're down here, and we will work on just adding some bookshelves in at the back here, and that will give us a little bit of an idea of what we can do. So maybe a couple tall ones like this. And then we could do something like that. And maybe we can light it up with something like that or some candles or something. The candles are a little bit darker than the soul lights as well. So we could do something like that maybe. And over on this side, we could have a couple torches maybe. That would be pretty cool and we need some traps in here as well i want to put some traps we can put some loot uh, maybe some loot on this uh, particular block right here we can put a chest or something set up the loot that way i haven't actually got the loot set up just yet so uh, when we do work on the last part we'll actually set up the loot tables and stuff like that so i'll just put that that chest there for now and uh, what else? We needed the trap blocks as well. So let's grab a couple of those. I wanted to make it a little bit more difficult to get the loot. So that's what the trap blocks are for. And uh, we can put a, like a fire thing here. So when they walk through, they'll have to jump over it or they'll catch on fire. So that'll be a nice little experience. And then we could do something like one right here as well. So it'll be harder for them to get there. Uh, I'll leave the dungeon this direction though um, like the regular way so we can also set up like a sp couple spawners I guess over on the sides here so when they walk through they'll uh, trigger it and then some strays will spawn on either side so that will be a little bit trickier as well and uh, they won't see it coming because um, when they come through they won't um, be able to see this by then they'll already triggered have triggered the uh entity to spawn so some other things that i want to put in here are some cobwebs um got the bones all over the place that's good uh there are some other things that we have so let's take a look what we can have we can have some redstone uh we can use some chain blocks uh we have some of those uh, other spots no that's right we use the spots for the candles 
Uh, we can use some shackles, I guess, and cobwebs. Um, I'm going to put that back for now, and we can use some of that just to decorate some stuff. Uh, maybe some carpet or barrels, maybe some barrels. We'll work with the barrels for now. So we'll go back over here, and then I wanted to do just some random redstone dust. This kind of makes it look like there is blood or something like uh, that for the um, area here. And maybe for some of the parts here, we can actually set up some chains to the ceiling. Um, this could basically be used for attaching other prisoners and stuff like that. So just an idea for some decoration. So that, and I think these come from the ground. We could uh, hide these blocks a little bit by going like this. And that would kind of give an, you know, decoration advantage. So something like that maybe. And uh, we have the shackles, so we could put a couple shackles over here, maybe one over here and there. And uh, yeah, that would be good. We have those webs as well, so we can put them in the corners. Like that. And uh, let's see what else we can do. We can. I don't know, it kind of feels like it's still a little bit too bright, so maybe we can put some candles in the corners or something like that. Just enough to light up the area. I don't know if those give off any light. I don't think they do. And maybe we can remove some of the um, things around just a little bit. So something like that maybe. And then for the barrels, uh, let's see here. If we remove, no, we need that open for the spawner. So maybe we can put the barrels in a different room. I just set myself on fire, that's funny. All right, so we can put the barrels maybe over here. And we'll do kind of something like that just to decorate a little bit and then we can set up some more chains like so and maybe another chain over here and uh, shackles the uh, shackles can be kind of put along here maybe and maybe one over here All right so there's that and then we have the other ones these Kind of decorate the area with and we could use some in the center of the room as well this will make it a little bit harder to see for sure and uh, for lighting we can put some candles over here maybe a candle over here uh, we'll remove this light so we can kind of see what we're doing and Don't know if that's too much light. Maybe one over there, that should be good. And then what we can do is we can put some of the corner cobwebs up. I'm gonna actually remove that, put that there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, when you come in here, it looks like it's overgrown and stuff. We could also use, now it's not on the list of things that I wanted to add, but we could add some vines as well. Um, so we'll decorate the blocks just a little bit, uh, make it feel more overgrown. So something like that. And I wanted to add a couple more traps in here as well. So I think we, no, we don't have it on us anymore. Uh, we could put some bookshelves over here. that cobweb and put it up there. We can do some blood spots like this just to 
decorate it a little bit and I set my other <laughs> spawner off. All right, so let's um, go back over here and then we'll take a look at what else we can add. Uh, we can add maybe a um, torture chair or something like that just to make it a little bit more decorative. I have these uh, carpets as well and some of the pots and nether mushrooms that can be added and yeah we'll start with that stuff so let's go back up here and we will go over here and if we remove these bones here move them over here maybe we can move that over there and remove the blood we can put the chair or something like that and do some arms like this and we'll put like a backing on the chair there so they'll kind of have to like sit and then they'll get sawed uh, chopped up a little bit so it'll be like a torturing chair kind of thing uh, we also have some other plants and stuff so we can put some of this stuff on our hopper and then what we'll do is we'll um, just decorate some of the parts around here we can probably put a mushroom there or something that I want to leave open we'll do something over here and maybe over there so some of these like so just so it's a little bit more detailed it's already starting to come to light a little bit right so a lot of foliage and stuff in here now and um, can't really uh, put too many vines down there, but we can kind of decorate the bookshelf a little bit. There's a little bat up there. All right, and then what we could do is we could um, decorate some of the other parts along here. So just, just a little bit more um, colorful and stuff. All right, so in this room, what we could do is we could bring that down a little bit and then we'll get out of there. All right, we'll go like that. And maybe a little bit down here. Actually, what we could do is we could go like that and I'm not sure if we can. Yeah, it won't let us do that. Uh, it will grow over time, so that will work out fine. Uh, we could also put um, some blocks in here for the planters and stuff. So these can go over here, there, and there. And I liked how we had the um, these blocks, the vines in the center as well, so we can do that. I'll make it a little bit more difficult to... Um, attack the mobs for sure. Okay, so something like that. Alright, so something like that would turn out good. And then we could have maybe one right here just so the chest is a little bit hidden when you walk in. And then it, it's remove that one. I think that will open up that side a little bit more so people will be more tended to go this way when they come through especially with the strays spawning and um, then they'll be further away from the chest and they'll be fighting over on this side so that's kind of the idea there uh, we will grab those um, blocks though for the wall traps and we'll go over here and we'll place a couple more on these these sides right here. So when they come in, they'll have the strays on this side as well. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is now I don't know if it it might be already too a little bit um, hard to destroy things in here because this is where the spawner will be going. So I was thinking maybe we can leave the actual stray things uh, wall traps alone from there. Uh, however, uh, we can 
add another chest for loot on this side, I think. Uh, where we'll put it, I have no idea. But uh, we can put it somewhere in here, maybe... Yeah, I'm not sure. We can remove that, I guess, and put it right there next to the chest. That will... Yeah, when you come in, you won't notice it right off the bat. We can probably even put the vine right there and move this one. It's pretty obvious, but it's... Um, do maybe three up, just so it's a little bit harder to see. Yeah, they won't notice it off the bat right there. That's good. All right, uh, then what we'll do is... Uh, with that, that's fine. That doesn't really look great though, so what we'll do is we'll move it over just a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe that high. Is that gonna... That sort of blocks it a bit until you get in, and then by the time you're already in, you'll have the strays spawning around, so you'll be more tended to go over onto this side. And we can even... Move that up like that, so they'll be more prone to come this side. Should be a little bit challenging. Yeah, that that will be good. All right, so let's remove that, and uh, we'll grab some of the other lights and stuff. So, I'm using candles, I was thinking we could probably uh, put maybe a lamp trim there and a lantern here not sure if that's going to be too bright to notice the traps uh, i think the cobblestone ones actually blend into the full floor pretty well not unlike the uh the wall ones that i designed they kind of stand out a little bit more but uh, that's why they're behind the wall all right so that's good uh we can start working on uh, this part, the actual spawning room next episode, so definitely tune in for that. I'm pretty happy with what we got done so far. It um, looks pretty spooky, uh, something that I definitely wouldn't want to come down to uh, for uh, some loot and stuff, but um, that's just me. Um, we have some traps in here, and when you come through, the spawners will end up spawning the strays and stuff uh, there might even be some natural bats in here if we decide to keep them as well uh, but uh, yeah outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I will post the next video next Tuesday so we'll be working on the actual bottom part down here we'll decorate it a little bit more uh, get the spawner all set up somewhere around here and then we'll be able to work on the loot tables and the actual um, structure generation and stuff like that and in the final video so definitely tune in for those if you're new to my channel again don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out